Uh, this question is come number of pairs with absolute difference k. So basically, uh, you're giving the in array nums and integer k. So return the numbers of pair i j where i less than j and then such that the nums i minus nums j equal to k. So when you see the absolute, like there are two scenarios. It's going to be x minus y equal to k or y minus x equal to k, right? So there are two scenario case you have to think about. Uh, I'm just talking about my solution. So uh, this is the array. So um, I'm going to use my hash map. So my map, my key is going to be a num side. My num side, key is num side. And the value is going to be the frequency. All right, so uh, whenever you get uh, I mean, whenever you say numps i minus k or numps i plus k, I mean, this is also what, like when you're trying to get the absolute difference, right, you want to get the, the other value, you know, maybe this is y, right? So you want to get this value, y frequency inside the map, right? So. Uh, whenever we, I mean, whenever we traverse, we store the value, the num side value, and also increment the frequency by one into the hash map, um, and then we have to just keep adding the uh, current current result based on the peers, right? So uh, I'm going to say result and a plus equal for num side minus k and num side plus k. It just depends on the map, the frequency. And also, like we have to keep update the num side inside the map. So this is a solution. So you know it's straightforward enough. You know, uh, let's start coding. So uh, what I have is I have the return value starting the resource, and then I have hash map integer for the key integer for the value. I'm going to call map. And at the end, I will return the result. So I traverse the nums. All right. So um, I'm going to put my num into the map, and based on the num, I increment the value by one. If the num does not inside the map, I will initially set the value, set the frequency value to zero, and then I'll increment at the end. And uh, the uh, the peers is going to be result, right? And then it actually based on the nums minus k or nums plus k, right? So it's going to be meta get or default nums minus k, comma zero. So if you can if you cannot find this value inside the map, you will add, end up adding zero. Like this will actually return, you know, if you find it. Then you will get a frequency value. If you not find it, like it's definitely a no, right? And then you uh, end up adding zero. So this will be minus k, and you will have the plus k. And this is pretty much a solution. So let me run it. Yeah. So. So uh, the order does matter. Like you can, you definitely cannot put the value inside the map, and then you find a frequency. Because if you do that, I mean, let's just think about the first solution. I put the one into the map, and I calculate one minus one, right? One minus one. I already put the value inside the map and increment it, right? So you will get the result, which is going to be appear right away. This is definitely not correct. Right, so I have to put it after I add a value, add, add a peer value, because you want to add a peer value like to see what is the you know the possible peer before your current index, right? You are not you're not trying to add your current value into the possible peer. Alright, so uh that will be it. So time and space straightforward, this is space, this is time, and both are all of n. So uh Probably I'll just make a debug more quickly. All right.
pretty much it, right? So, um, if you still have questions, leave a comment below. Subscribe if you want it. And then, peace out. Bye.